Supergirl, Atrocitus, Atlantis. You gonna spit up on me, Atrocitus? Irritating female. You know who else does that? Babies. for old ladies. Look me at your peril! Grodd, Superman, Atlantis. You won't rule Earth, Grodd. 
Nor will you, Superman. I have and will again. Aquaman, Batman, Metropolis. Atlantis can't be my enemy. Next time, try diplomacy. I did. That's why we're here. Ah! <laughs> 
I will not be your ally. Not the smartest choice. Clark's enemy. This sure is a funny way to show it. You haven't heard the whole story. <laughs> Come <laughs> on. 
this game looks incredible. One of the things when we were in Chicago that I thought was absolutely amazing was uh, the super moves that you have. And yeah. you tease some yeah. of them in the trailer with, uh, obviously, uh, you got uh, Batman and Superman and, and going at each other. But uh, tell us, you know, this game, <coughs> let's talk about sort of the customizations. One of the things we were in Chicago you're talking a lot about is how everyone's going to have a different Batman or a different Superman, right? Yeah. Tell us how that works. Yeah, you know, um, it, you know, fighting games are all about, you know, the character that you're playing. And for the yeah. most part, when people play the character, you know, it's the character that we made and you basically learn it, you master it, you uh, you know, you, you learn the nuances of it, but you don't really change what it does. And that's kind of what we're introducing with this game. We're really like saying, okay, here's a base version of Aquaman, here's a base version of Superman, uh, Superman, Atrocitus, and that's your starting point. And yeah. then when you start, you start acquiring gear, and that gear actually makes your character more powerful. And you choose, you're the one who chooses what it is that it's going to enhance as far as the, um, the <laughs> part of the game. And, uh, you know, as, as, as we can see before, you know, our super moves were kind of like, we set such a high bar before, it's kind of like, yeah. so we're trying to really just uh, supersede all of this one. Uh, I love that that's made. all in engine, all this insanity. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Now, I know at E3 here, you're showing, I think it's what, you three areas, four characters, or what, do we, what can we expect? Uh, we're going to see six characters. Six characters. Okay, yeah, cool. yeah, and three arenas. Uh, yeah. They're kind of like famous ones, you know, uh, Metropolis. Uh, Gotham City and Atlantis. Um, you might notice as you're as you're as you're seeing the gameplay here is uh, you know when you see Batman for the second time he looks a little bit different. That's because that's a different Batman. When you see it Grodd for the second time it's a little bit different. Yeah. Everybody's is going to look different, and that's what's so exciting about it because oh they're going to actually have you know the most personalized. The personalization is what we're really adding to this game as far as you know making your version of Batman, your version of Superman, your version of Grodd, and oh my God. Uh, just the outrageousness in it. It looks insane. Well, Ed, thank you so much for stopping by to give us a uh, look. I'm not Clark's enemy. <laughs> Fighting a girl, hero? You're no ordinary girl. What purpose will this serve? It will clear the air. Or bloody the water.
are against you. Superman. At least I'm half human. You say that like it's a good thing. It's taught me compassion. <laughs> Grumpy. Kryptonians give me headaches. You're in for a doozy. <laughs>
what's exciting about this is we're coming back here with uh, three returning characters, three brand new characters. You know, Aquaman, Superman, Batman, everybody is, is aware of. But, oh, yeah. you know, the introduction of, of Supergirl, which is really exciting. Um, the uh, Flash's villain, Gorilla Grodd. Oh, wow. Is, is also uh, a lot of fun. He, he plays, you know, different than you'd expect. And uh, Atrocitus, who is kind of like, you know, a big red angry version of green lantern <laughs> okay yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can think of him as that way red lantern he's he's the opposite of green lantern in almost every way but um you know we're gonna we're, i guess we can start go ahead and start the gameplay with them and give you an idea of the, this new system that we're introducing in justice 2 you know with injustice you know we always say oh you know it's big battle of the gods huge destruction transitions multiple arenas it's right it's awesome and um with with the sequel, of course, we're going to add new characters, you know, and expand on that whole thing. But the gear system, what we're calling the gear system, is really like the foundation of what is brand new, what we're bringing to the table, differentiated from Injustice, as well as differentiating it from other fighting games. Wow, very cool. So, like, with each match that you fight, uh, you, you'll be grabbing gear, or how, how does that work? Yeah, so, like, after a fight is done, uh, you're going to uh, acquire some gear, and the gear actually powers up your character. So every character in the game has thousands and thousands of, you know, boots, utility belts, cowls, capes, oh, wow. so insignias, and when you when you finish playing the game, it's kind of like, like XP, you know, you're, you're getting a... Um, drops of gear sure. and then you get to actually apply them to your character and they power your character up in different ways you know uh, defense you know your, your strength your abilities that you use in the in the you know with, with your special moves and your and your health meter and you are in a constant process of um, leveling up so yeah, yeah. yeah now does this carry on to like online also like will i be able to face like you know man's versus, like you know superman versus my superman where it's decked out differently yeah yeah and and you know what you said is really key it's like your superman right. your batman your aquaman against somebody else's and it's all personalized and it is it is you literally customizing molding your version of these characters that um go up against somebody else's. I love that idea because you see so often, you know, there's certain characters who will be more popular than others. And, yes. uh, you know, you, you see a lot of mirror matches, but now, like you said, like you can have your, you know, maybe I'll focus on like more offense type uh, gear, you know, versus uh, maybe Swifter's defense type, you know, uh, gear. Exactly. Sounds great. You cool. notice here, this is a big transition. You can, we actually, again, you can throw your opponent <laughs> into a new arena where there's a whole new palette of, of you know, objects that you can actually use in the fight. That was, you know, something that really uh, resonated with the, the, the last Injustice, and we really wanted to bring it over. Um, you know, and you look at these these characters again, you know, with uh, um, Atrocitus, you know, he is, he is, he, he's all about, you know, you know, anger and hate and blood. So he has all these kind of blood moves. He can bring out, you know, the... Uh, <laughs> and flying cats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His name is Dexter. And he's, <laughs> he's actually also a Red Lantern uh, in, the, in the DC lore. Whoa. And so Atroscus can bring him out, use him, and uh, he actually aids in the battle of oh. fight. You know, yeah, it's exciting. And, uh, you know, Gorilla Grodd is all about, you know, big kind of primal moves mixed in with telekinetic moves. He's, he's blasting them down back into the uh, the street arena in where here. I was just gonna say and here we see the environmental uh, interaction again yeah, oh yeah busting through walls bouncing off you exactly. see the, the power of like these attacks oh yeah yeah and it, it, you know we always describe it as like the battle of the gods you know yeah. so you know you know Grodd here is his uh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's what I love seeing too just like these two brawlers beat yeah. the crap out of each yeah, other the variety oh. of characters in this game is actually gonna be even wider than the last one so here, here is what we were talking about in terms of the gear, you know, like when you finish a round, your characters are leveling up, you know, you see this, the stats of their strength and all that, but then this gear that you're rewarded with, you know, the Curse of Rage, this new arms for, uh, for Atrocitus, and Grodd has these, uh, you can also be awarded gear for, for other characters. Yeah, so I just noticed. you want to level up your, your, your other characters, it kind of gives you an incentive to really build up the entire cast. That, that is very cool. That is all, I'm actually really, really excited about like the loot drop system and like looking at like, oh, if I place off against a man, he's got like, oh, that, that awesome gauntlet, like what am I going to do, like, you yeah. know, counter that or whatever. Exactly, or when you go online and you see somebody wearing some crazy crown, you're like, you know, where did you get that, exactly. you know? And um, so it's, there's a lot of, uh, you know, kind of like this big collection uh, mechanic going on. 
Oh man, what, when is this coming out? I'm sorry, I'm like jumping to that, but I just want to play. Uh, <laughs> no, of course. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, we got to wait until uh, 2017. Oh, <laughs> for bad oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, but it's it's gonna be worth the wait, you know. Like like well, like we were saying, you know, there's you know bigger roster of characters. This whole this whole uh, gear stuff is gonna be uh, so exciting, and um, you know, just the the w another great opportunity is you know with the first injustice, you know, there's always characters who didn't get in the roster, <laughs> of course, and a bunch of angry people that. <laughs> that, right. that, uh, Aaron didn't get get into the game, so a lot of it is satisfying those those people you know wanted to see exactly. the wanted to see super. Yeah, cool. comic book fans in particular can be pretty oh, uh, oh vocal when they are yeah, uh, yeah. not listening. And, and, and it's 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 a great thing, you know. I'd rather have people uh, passionate about it, even if passion. That's that's a nice anger. polite way to put it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, people care, and uh, these games, of course, uh, you know, there are fans of just you know the injustice itself. Like we were talking about earlier, the, the comic book uh, injustice has really taken off, and fans just love the setting, like the story the, uh, that the, the first game brought. Oh, out. it was it was it was fantastic. It was you know such a great um, kind of summary of the events leading up to the first game. That's yeah. what was so cool about it. And and uh, Ooh. oh, yeah, yeah, he's he's really has anger issues. Like you said, I uh, and I love that idea that you guys, uh, you know, come from the perspective that it's like the gods, you know, like just these beings with like ultimate powers, just throwing down. Exactly. It's it's kind of like thinking of you know, um, you know, you, you have these these these, these super powered beings all kind of assembled and um, you know a story that kind of gives them a reason to want to beat the crap out of each other. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, are there any changes to like you know like the combo system or like the mechanics? I'm sure you guys are still kind of you know tweaking that, of course. Yeah, we're we're always you know refining it. We, we every, every game we really want to add nuances that you know not only can be appreciated by kind of casual guys, but you know the hardcore fighting game guys. You know we're really uh, are big fans of uh, esports and everything, and we really want to have this game be a big part of it with you know tournaments and 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 all that stuff. So. There's 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 a, a, a lot of uh, <laughs> really deep layers that we're, we we've added to the game for those players. Love seeing the back and forth there, like even as you choose the characters. Yeah, yeah it's that's a, a bit banter back. Like in Mortal Kombat, you always have like these like awesome, very custom interactions between characters. And is that like and exactly? We we were so happy with how that turned out, you know. And these characters, you know, they have a lot of them have relationships with their, uh, with each other, and they have stories that they famous stories. They make references to those stories. It's, awesome. it's it's great. So you see a lot of nods to the um, to, to some of the comics you might have read, or so, um, and uh, or, or or something you might have seen in other media. And it's great how you see those relationships. So they talk to each other before a fight, and it, it really kind of it, it you'd be surprised how much it really uh, adds a, a level of. Uh, Depth. It really does. Absolutely, uh, keeping tr you know staying true to like uh, the original kind of like source material uh, that has come before. Because yeah, these characters, uh, you know, these are like the forefathers of you know the whole comic superhero comic scene, and uh, very cool that you guys have uh, taken that into account as well. Yeah, kept it yeah. in the game. Yeah, we're we're you know and the characters like you know the returning characters, you know Aquaman and Batman, and Superman. You know what's what's cool is we've given them new moves and you know really kind of updated them. So like you know. They're your favorite character. You love how they play. You know, there's going to be some familiarity about it, but there's also other layers of stuff. Yeah. Man. yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Super Aquaman. She's not, she's not oh. messing around. Yeah. Yeah. There's a there's a, a transition uh, into a, a train. I don't know if you guys have seen it uh, on on the right side. That is really um, cool because it's got um, you can actually you know the guy is actually like kind of spinning through the train here. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Are we about to see it? Yeah. There we go. Oh. Oh, Aquaman. that's great. I love how it's Aquaman too. He's just getting knocked around. Poor Aquaman. Yeah, he's got this awesome super move that's um, so uh, uh, you know it's probably one of one of my favorite ones in the game right now. It's just kind of really uh, it's just so ridiculously over the top. Yeah. Considering his last one had this the start this big shark, mm -hmm. he really wanted to have something that kind of one up that whole thing. Wow. Is it or yeah. I think we're seeing it right now. Look at that. Oh, oh it's something like prehistoric. It's not even over. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Oh, sick. Yeah. I just want to say Supergirl, she actually deserved that. Like, yeah. she's, she's been knocking him around a while. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, man. I'm I'm probably most excited for the loot system, though. That sounds like so, like, amazing. Just keep me coming back, you know, looking forward to the end of every match. Exactly. You know, like, fighting games are really all about, you know, you know traditionally have been about, you know, here's the character that we made. You learn it. You master it. You get it. Now we're, we're you know, we're all about kind of 
giving the player more personalization into it and, and an ongoing. Above my weight. What do you want, Grod? Your head on a plate. say that battle changes you. It makes you stronger. Prepared to fight. 